this is my beautiful spaceship in front of a beautiful star. This is a game called Fractured Space, and very recently this game was actually on Steam sale and also went through a free weekend when many, many people got to try it. Now, I've played this game for about a year now, on and off, and I ended up actually stopping playing it because there was just not enough players and because there were too many things that were not really well with this game, but it has actually changed so much in the last year that I wanted to give this another chance and just to see if it's actually improved a lot and if it's worth buying now. Now, if you've never played this game, watch this video to find out. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Now, we're going to be jumping into these, uh, this area called Alpha. This is actually the end of the tutorial that has recently been added for new players. And because I actually have kind of re-established uh, my old account, I have to play through this um, tutorial just to, first of all, get some bonuses, but also because um, otherwise the game will not unlock my old uh, faction that I used to play with. Uh, for some reason, my faction actually is not considered to be advanced. And all of my ships are unfortunately locked until I finish the tutorial. So let's actually just uh, go through this. I'm going to show you how the battles work and what this game is about. This is uh, basically the tutorial where I'm going to be possibly fighting one other ship. And um, this game is essentially a MOBA game um, with uh, spaceships. And uh, usually here you have a variety of... Um, different types of spaceships. Uh, this is actually the Pioneer. This is a spaceship you um, you start with. And I'm being shot at by someone. This guy right there. Let's fire our rockets at him and also everything else as well. Um, now, he's actually a sniper, I think. We're going to try to avoid his sniping and zoom in on him. And there we go. Nuke, nukes away. And let's actually just kill him first. Um, now, uh, this game is actually pretty awesome. I, I used to love this game for a really long time, but the problem w with it before was that there were just not enough players, and uh, there was a thing with it that if you're playing a game and somebody quits on your side or on the other side, um, you're basically stuck with a smaller team and there was really no penalty for it. That was very, very unfortunate. Actually, it was the reason why many players quit the game because you're playing five on five and then suddenly someone quits from your side because of one reason or another and uh, everyone basically loses the battle. And it wasn't really um, fun. It was actually kind of annoying at some point and many people were very disappointed with that. Uh, but uh, I've heard that a lot of things have changed. I've also heard that um, a lot of the ships that used to be overpowered have now been um, rebalanced. And so today we're going to try this game um, online. We're going to try to play against other players. Uh, and I'm also going to show you how this game works in a nutshell. Now, right now I just have to finish this tutorial where I'm basically taking the enemy base. This is, um, all of the maps actually have a very similar layout. There's Alpha and beta on both sides. Those are kind of like lanes in um, usual mobile games. There's also something called gamma in the center, which is sort of like a, a buff that you get if you manage to capture it. Um, and usually gamma is where a lot of battles happen um, every half an hour or so because gamma usually uh, gets sort of recharged every half an hour. Um, now let me, let me just kill this guy right here. Uh, it's just an AI, so I shouldn't have too much trouble with him. Um, and uh, the really cool thing about this particular game is that, well, first of all, it's completely in 3D. It's, it's the only mobile I can think of that is completely in 3D. Obviously, the only other, uh, the only mobile that actually is purely in sp uh, with spaceships. Um, so if you are a mobile fan and you want to find something that's not League of Legends, something that's not Dota, something that actually has sci-fi theme, this is probably the best uh, there is. Um, definitely a really, really fun game. Uh, a game that requires a lot of strategizing, a lot of understanding of how spaceships work, a lot of um, planning as well, because you basically are... Uh, you're hiding behind objects, you're actually... Um, there is a line of sight, uh, and you have to try to avoid enemies by basically, you know, you can hide behind asteroids and so on. Um, and I'll show you how this works when we actually get to fight real players, not just 
bots but right now we just have to capture their base this is usually when the game is over when you capture enemy's base and there's a lot of really fun battles here a lot of really really um interesting um tournaments you'll actually experience if you actually get into this game and this is what i've actually um this is why i really like this game before but i want to see if it's still uh, if it's still as good as it used to be and if actually if it actually has improved and solved its previous problems So let me just finish the tutorial and we'll get into real battle And this is the menu you'll find yourself in when you actually start the game There's actually a, um, a few things that have been added here um, From a year ago when I last played the game and one of the new features is uh, the fact that you can actually buy platinum uh, with real money and what this allows you to do is uh, basically purchase different skins for your ships to customize their look and also to purchase boosters that allow you to level up faster and also give you a little bit more in-game credits but things like crew for example which are essentially cards that you purchase to kind of give your ship a boost uh, are actually bought using um, in-game currency, not platinum. So um, basically this is not a pay-to-win game, it's a game that allows you to actually uh, acquire all of this uh, credit currency by playing the games and essentially then you can spend it on unlocking various characters. Now what are these for? Let me just show you in a second. Um, when I go to Hainer. So Hainer is where your ships are. So there's actually three different factions you can focus on. And this was my previous faction called Titan. And so here, when you go to Attack Tree, you'll see that you have a variety of unlockable ships. You can either unlock them using credits or premium currency that you can buy with real money so that you don't have to grind. And um, once you unlock the ships, each of them also gets a different loadout that allows you to basically um, give each ship a, a, a better weapon. So as you get better weapons, the ships will obviously do more, more damage. And then for each of the ships, depending on, on your play style, you also assign five different crew members. Now these are actually like kind of like cards that you collect and unlock um, using the store that I showed you before. And um, each of these is, is purchased using the regular credits. Now, for example, if I wanted to focus on defense, I would take this guy, Engineer, with, that gives me more hull strength. If I wanted to get... Uh, oh, they're actually exactly the same. Oh, no, never mind. This guy only has five base resistance. This girl gives a little bit more, uh, less whole strength, but has more base resistance. Um, and so there's a, um, various cards that you can assign depending on your playstyle and just to customize your ship, which actually creates quite a lot of um, a variety and possibilities for you when you're actually playing through this game. Uh, now let's go back to Hanger for a second. And, uh, okay, how many did I actually unlock? I used to play as this faction, but apparently I didn't really unlock anything. I had this guy unlocked. This was a medium attack ship. Uh, oh, this is also a premium ship. For some reason, I actually have a premium ship. Uh, there are some... Um, actually, there's like at least two premium ships uh, that currently are in the game. And these premium ships are just a little bit more uh, different. They're not really more powerful. They're just a little bit different from other ships. But basically, the way this works is that there is different classes of ships. Each, each ship is specialized in something. So, for example, there is um, battleships that are basically defensive. There are attack ships that are fast and fast moving but don't have much um, in terms of actual armor. There are also um, snipers, which are attacked from a distance but have almost no armor. And there is also support ships, there is stealth ghost ships. Uh, and uh, each of them actually is just like a character in the MOBA. Each of them has different skills, each of them has different um, abilities and plays very differently. Now, I I'm just going to select... Let's just actually choose this guy right here. Um, I don't remember how to play as this character or as this particular ship and I don't really have anything else to buy for him so that's that's actually good it's a premium ship but we're gonna try it anyway we're going to go into play now and uh this is our beautiful ship called revenant ripper so it looks a little bit different from before i actually have don't remember how to play as this ship but uh you know what when you start the game this is how you'll feel you'll feel a little bit overwhelmed because it's a little bit different from other games, but I actually really like this because you do play as a spaceship and it feels like you're playing as a spaceship. Do I have any skins for this? I don't have any more skins. All right, so we're going to launch the game and uh, you'll notice that there's at least 500 players online, which is actually a good sign. Um, there's currently only one mode of play, which is called Conquest, which is what we were just playing before. There's also something that's called Frontline that's coming up soon, but I don't really know much about it except that it's actually a little bit shorter than um, Conquest. And so uh, 
uh, server options. Let's actually just choose everything and play now. So we're going to wait for a few seconds. It usually takes about 20 seconds to find a game. And then we're going to start this and I'll show you how this works when you play against other players. And so here we go. Five on five. Uh, this is our Revenant ship. Uh, our uh, teammates are somewhere nearby as well. Now, one thing I actually have not mentioned yet, and uh, this is actually kind of important, is that the way that you control your ship is with WASD keys and with spacebar and control. So spacebar is to go up, control is to go down. You obviously can move your camera around with your mouse as well. And all of this is really, really important. Uh-oh. I oh, don't know, she's shooting at me. Uh, the reason why it's important is that um, cover in this game is super crucial. You actually need to learn how to use cover in order to be successful. And I'll show you um, why I totally forgot how to use cover. And uh, we'll actually, um, we're probably going to be not doing so well in this particular game. But let's just jump to Alpha and start capturing different areas. We're going to try to not really do too poorly, even though I totally do not remember how to play with this particular ship at all. Uh, first of all, what is Shroud? I want to see what that is. Some sort of a shield. Okay, and that's good. Uh, then we have missiles. We also have fighters, which I think uh, allows us to um, release uh, some kind of a fighter, I think. Well, I'm guessing it's uh, to attack other ships. And we also have this and that. All right, cool. Totally don't remember, but you know what? It's Im Im important for us to just have fun. And uh, you can see there's an enemy coming toward us already, trying to attack us. Uh, we're going to try to avoid them for now, possibly get in cover and this is already under our control. So I'm going to get in cover behind this asteroid and come at him from from the other side. Now, this is important because, as you'll see in a second, um, this creates a lot of chaos in their um, in their tactics, but at the same time allows me to basically sneak up on them because they can't really see me behind the asteroid. Uh, and at the same time, I can see them and I can just focus on one guy at a time, like this guy right here. There we go. That's what I wanted to do, and I just released my fighters we're going to stay behind the asteroid and do as much damage from here as we can. And... Okay. It looks like our our teammates are not doing so well. Um, but, you know what? He cannot really see me that very well from here. My fighters are doing a little bit of damage to him. And uh, we're actually not doing too poorly. He's already halfway down. And there we go. Destroyed the lime. And so this is how this game actually kind of works. Unlike other MOBAs, oh no, not good, not not good uh, control there. Uh, unlike other MOBAs uh, here, oh hi, <laughs> you're very close to me. <laughs> what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Uh, hello and welcome to What the Math. Uh, there's actually two of them, and I think I'm lagging a little bit here. I I, I just noticed my pink has gone up dramatically. Uh, anyway, so let's actually focus on this guy. He's uh, a little bit easier to kill. He's doing the same thing I was doing. He's hiding behind the, the rock. And we're going to just basically try to sneak up on him and release our... Oh, he's a ghost. Okay. He's a ghost. We're going to use our shield. I actually forgot I have a shield. He's somewhere over here, but uh, he's, he's done relatively well. He's hidden behind the rock. And we can't really get to him. Um, so, basically, yeah. So, this is how this mobile works. Um, unlike... Uh, oh, hi. There you are. Uh, unlike other uh, MOBAs here, it's all about um, tactics, it's all about hiding, it's all about um, controlling locations and um, controlling them intelligently, not just uh, uh, going from place to place, but actually knowing exactly where you're going, which I have no idea where I'm going right now. I'm actually um, just kind of randomly attacking people, but I really should have more uh, in terms of actual strategy here. Uh, and it looks like this guy is almost dead. Oh boy, there's so many of them. There is. This is just not fun. Oh boy. Well, at least I killed the lime again. Uh, it might be a good idea for us to jump out of here. I'm gonna jump home and get out before we die. Uh, okay, have a good day. We're jumping home. Nice meeting you, and so on and so forth. 
Um, yeah, okay, so let's just repair our ship, uh, also upgrade our ship as well, and um, every time you level up, you basically get to upgrade your ship, you can also obviously choose what you want to upgrade, attack, defense, or utility, I'm going to go for, I guess, uh, a little bit of defense, um, would be nice to me, because I do have quite a nice attack, but I'm lacking in defense, and uh, as you can see, my teammates are not doing too poorly. They're actually doing quite well. Uh, I'm going to join this guy right here. Um, and support them in alpha, try to defeat the alpha enemies. Um, but what I um, what I really enjoy about this game is that um, I don't usually like MOBAs. I actually, as a matter of fact, I kind of dislike them. But this game really, really, really makes me enjoy this particular game. Um, gameplay. Uh, it's not very common that I enjoy MOBAs to such an extent, uh, but here, because I'm a spaceship and because there's so much strategy involved, because you actually have to use cover, you have to use three dimensions, you have to know your ship really well, um, and you do actually feel like a ship. You don't feel like you're just a character. You actually feel like a, a large ship. Uh, it really makes it kind of fun. Um, and uh, all the ships look cr really, really good. All of the um, uh, ship's uh, upgrades are actually pretty nice as well. So really, the only thing that this game doesn't have, or I guess in a sense, the weakest point for this game is the uh, player base. Unfortunately, as of now, um, it just doesn't have enough players. And I kind of wish that wasn't the case, because um, if there were more players playing, and if I also, um, I, I seem to have a bit of a lag here, but if I didn't have lag as, as, uh, as well, um, I would absolutely, totally recommend this game, like, 100%. This would be my top recommendation if it wasn't for these little issues. But um, they've actually fixed uh, the problem that they used to have where people just quit the game and um, a lot of the teammates would actually... Uh, be in trouble because of that because if you quit the game, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to defeat uh, the Opponents and so um, that kind of stopped happening N now. I think most of the time at least um, You actually get oh someone's attacking us here uh, uh, Most of the time you what you get is uh, you'll get a, a bunch of people playing together as a team and it does uh, Seem a little bit more cohesive and I am totally in the wrong area. Why am I here? I should have jumped right here. I jumped in the wrong area. But uh, uh, I do feel like this game has improved a lot, and I definitely recommend that you try this, because first of all, it's really, really cheap. It's under like $5. And I actually remember it even being free at some point. Uh, and it, it will most likely be free later on as well. Oh, geez, that's not good. I jumped somewhere where I shouldn't be jumping. Okay. Let's try to defeat as many as we can. Um, if we actually, oh, look at that, we're actually, we might win this. They were already kind of half dead anyway. Um, so, um, yeah, so definitely a game that's uh, most likely going to be improving a lot and possibly will go free to play and uh, depend on premium currency instead. Uh, and that's something that's not really a bad thing for this game because uh, there's really no... Uh, ship that's overpowered. It's really all about your skill here. Even if you have a ship that's more powerful than your enemy ship uh, You can still lose if you're not playing carefully enough and unlike other MOBAs um, You don't just die from you know being one-shotted you die if you really have no idea what you're doing As you can see I've actually I think how many did I defeat already five I've defeated five and that's uh, mostly because I kind of still remember how to play I kind of remember how the cover was really important and how it's actually important to play as a team, not as a solitude loner. And um, all in all, I, I personally think that it's definitely a game that's uh, worth checking out. Um, if you're still kind of unsure about it, if you're still thinking about it, uh, give it a try because it's kind of fun. Um, and the more players it has, the more it will grow and the more fun it will become for sure. Oh boy, our Alpha is getting three players from their team. And they're very likely are going to be... Oh, oh, where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? There it is. He snuck up on me. He totally snuck up on me. I'm going to totally miss him. Oh, Mr. Cloaky. 
Uh, so there's actually um, several ships that allow you to decloak uh, enemies. And that's not my ship, unfortunately. My ship doesn't do that. My ship uh, is apparently doesn't really do much at all. It just has a lot of uh, strange abilities that I can't really figure out. I don't remember this plane with this or even uh, buying the ship, to be honest. I don't even know where I got it from. Apparently, I had this premium ship from somewhere. Possibly some sort of reward for something. But I do remember having the ability to have fighters, though. Am I going to kill him or what? There we go. Um, okay, so the enemy on this team is down. And we're actually taking their base, apparently. So let's go and help our team. And we're almost finished taking their base. So it's it means that we're about to win this battle. Uh, uh, someone had a very good strategy. Oh, there we go. Victory. Someone had a very good uh, idea of jumping into their main base and then just trying to take, o take over the base, and it worked. Uh, so, essentially, this is a game in a nutshell. Um, I personally absolutely adore the fact that you play as a big battleship and you fight other battleships. And uh, here, the strategy is super important. Being able to control your ship is super important. And... Even if you're ridiculously bad at MOBAs, uh, games like LOL or Dota 2, um, and I personally am, I, th I don't think I'm good at those games at all, uh, you will still possibly enjoy this, and this is a, this requires different types of s uh, skills and it requires different types of thinking as well. And um, once you basically win the game, you get credits, and then you can go into either the shop and um, possibly look at some of the crew cards that you may want to purchase, or you can go into a hangar, uh, choose one of your ships, go into loadouts, and purchase uh, better weapons for your ship. So here I can actually un now unlock uh, a better weapon selection for my Sentinel, which is my other ship from the Titan Defense Systems. And so this is basically Fractured Space in a nutshell. So once again, do give this game a try. It's kind of fun, it's kind of interesting, and it's kind of interactive, and um, does give you... a a type of a gameplay that you will not really see in any other game. And anyway, that's all I wanted to say about uh, this particular game and uh, where it is right now. I, I think it's, uh, even though it's still alpha, it's definitely going to be improving every um, every week and every month. They've already have released many, many updates and made this game much better. And so uh, keep track of this game. And if you don't want to buy it yet, just uh, it's still worth just following this game just to see where it, where it actually is going. And so that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little review of Fractured Space and hopefully now you know what this game is all about and what uh, it has to offer you and what you can take away from it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to do more space and more math and science videos. And if you enjoy these kinds of videos or if you like space games, definitely subscribe if you still haven't and like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. I'll game you later. And as always, bye-bye.